Hey everybody, it's Michael here from GoodyReader.com. We're at SID Display Week and we've stopped by the Qualcomm booth and we have looked at their new Miracell technology. Originally, Miracell caught fame developing a series of tablets showing uh, their new technology. Now the company is refocused on the Internet of Things. So this includes a wearable technology, smartphones, secondary screens, and a lot of other kind of cool things. So you can see the watch here. And it's basically just playing a slideshow. In the past, with the Qualcomm's Miracell technology, in the original tablet, it had two screens. And with the two different film layers, it sometimes the screen would change depending on your viewing angle and orientation. With this current generation of Miracell, they've gone to two screens to a single screen. And this is like a huge leap because you can actually display more art, like red, green, and blue colors. The wavelengths changed without getting too geeky. It's basically displaying more colors and a higher resolution than ever before. And so this right now is actually not commercially available, but they are shopping around to vendors trying to get this. As you guys know, wearable, wearable technology is certainly poised to take off dramatically within the next two years. Looking over here, you notice the secondary screen on the back of a smartphone. When we've talked to some reps here, they were saying the secondary screen is perfect for Google Now, for uh, pings and updates, these sort of things, because they're tremendously low power, that they'll last you weeks before you ever have to actually charge this. Uh, with the watch, it's poised to launch a lot, long, a lot longer in terms of like the battery life. So you can see that you have the front screen, traditional cell phone, and then on the back, you have that secondary screen for texts and things like that. So instead of having to, you know, did I get a text, hit the home button, scroll around, you can just look here, okay, I just received a text. It's not too shabby. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at one of the phones that they have using the new mirror cell. You can see a 5.1 inch screen here. Resolution is absolutely crazy. You can see it here. 2560 by 1440 with a resolution of 577 ppi power advantage lasts six times longer than traditional lcd or oled screens these are prototypes so i kind of want to be clear about that they are not commercially available yet but they are displaying the direction that qualcomm is moving in in terms of using mirror cell in other arenas other than just tablets so watches wearable displays secondary screens and then the main screen on phones doesn't look too bad and like i said one of the big changes with mirror cell is they've gone from two layers of film on a screen to a single layer so it's it's better clarity and a better performance and the resolution certainly speaks for itself for goodyreader.com my name is michael we're at sid display week 2013 stop me by the qualcomm booth looking at mirror cell